Basketball players are tall, really tall. And just like many kids growing up, I used to dream about playing in the NBA. Unfortunately, I'm not that tall. Hey Jeff, what's up? See what I mean? So that got me thinking, how much do I need to grow to play in the NBA? Obviously I wouldn't be a center, those guys are enormous, but what about a point guard? Write and solve an inequality that shows how much I need to grow in feet to be as tall as the average NBA point guard. So first we need to write the inequality and in order to do that we need to look for key words. So right away at least jumps out, so I'm going to underline that. Next let's think about what the variable is going to be. What is the thing that we don't know? We don't know how much I need to grow. So how much I grow is going to be my variable. So I'm going to underline that. I'll just say uh, I need to grow. And then lastly, they say I need to be at least as tall as an average NBA point guard. So I'm going to underline that. We need to figure out how tall an average NBA point guard is. Now we're ready to write the inequality. So the basics of the inequality are going to look like whatever I start out with my current height plus what I need to grow, that has to be at least, and at least means greater than or equal to the height of an NBA point guard. So let's start to fill that in. First, how tall am I right now? And if you remember, I am five foot nine inches tall. So that's five foot nine inches tall, plus how much I'm growing. We don't know how much I'm growing. That's my variable, so let's call it G, G for growing. So five foot nine plus G has to be at least, at least as tall as an average NBA point guard. Well, how tall is the average NBA point guard? If we do a quick Google search, what we're gonna find out is that the average NBA point guard is about six foot three. And there is Stephen Curry, who is not average by any means, except for height maybe. Compared to me, yes, I know I look very small. So the average NBA player is six foot three. That's gonna go at the end, six foot three inches. Now, you might be looking at that and think that looks like a very weird inequality with feet and inches, and you're 100% right. What we need to do now is convert those uh, heights into feet. So we have, five feet nine inches, but those inches we need to change into feet. We know that there are 12 inches in a foot, so five foot nine would be five and nine out of 12 plus G is greater than or equal to six foot three, we would do the same. That would be six feet and three twelfths of the next foot. Let's simplify that. Nine twelfths is gonna simplify to three fourths plus g is greater than or equal to 3 twelfths is gonna simplify to 1 fourth. So there's our inequality, now let's solve it. If I wanna get g alone, I need to subtract 5 and 3 fourths from both sides. So minus 5 and 3 fourths, minus 5 and 3 fourths. And that leaves me with g is greater than or equal to 6 and a fourth, minus five and three fourths is going to be one half. So how much do I need to grow? I need to grow at least a half a foot in order to be the same height as an NBA point guard. I don't think that's gonna happen, but fingers crossed. Here's one to try on your own. 